This is Mercury version 4. It's got a bunch of new features that I think you'll like. Uh, I'm going to go over how to use all the controls and um, later on how to uh, tweak settings to get the best looking videos and images out of Lightning Live. So to start, trigger button, click it once to start a painting and you can click it again to pause and then you can see a, a kind of a ghosted image. So you can line up whatever you're doing and then hit resume and continue the painting. So if you want to see if you forget what the keyboard controls are, um, you can just hover over any control to see how to do that on the keyboard. Um, of course, the, the new button starts a new painting. And by clicking that, it will automatically save a video if you have the record video option checked on. Um, but it will also save out um, an image. So Mercury saves out uh, WebM files, which can be viewed in, um, you can just drop it into pretty much any web browser, I think, um, Chrome and Firefox for sure. Um, you could also use a, a player like uh, VLC or something like that. It usually doesn't take this long. Um, I'm just running the program and, and screencasting and, and all that. Um, anyway, so of course these are pretty self-explanatory. You can select which camera you want to use um, and the resolution. Uh, if you're noticing like lag uh, or dropped frames, you might want to try lowering the resolution a step. Um, mirror is uh, mostly for like stage performances. If you're projecting um, on a wall, you might want to have the image flipped. Or you can do stuff like reverse projection. Um, so it just flips the image, it's just uh, for convenience. Um, you might not want to record video if you want to, if you're just doing a live performance um, and you want it to go on for like 20 minutes, 30 minutes, uh, you could check this off um, to save uh, memory and, and disk space and generally make things run smoother. Um, so if you want to hide the controls, you can do that. This box kind of fades away and then you can get it back by clicking the plus. Um, you can also pop out the controls if you want to move this light to a, another display or something. That's always an option. Um, also, you can use your phone to control stuff. So you open up this, this link and it will give you this URL and it will have all the controls on it. So you can see when I change the opacity slider there, it will also update in the main window. So all of these sliders are for compositing settings. So uh, opacity will just change the opacity of each frame. Um, so I'm gonna hit trigger and demo this. So you can see it kind of gives a smoother kind of additive effect. Um, decay is pretty cool. If you want to have like kind of a never ending light painting session, you can see that the, uh, the light slowly fades out over time. Um, and ghost is, is, um, a little weird. It, it, drops the blacks and increases the, the lights. And as an effect, it will it will make it so not all the light is captured. So I'm gonna hit trigger. So you can see the, the, the brightness on my arm is not leaving as much of a trail as it normally would without the ghost. Um, what else? So to, to really be able to control the camera, um, you need some kind of like driver control program. I use this one on Mac, it's uh, webcam settings. 
super generic name, but it, it works really well. So you can set the, the exposure mode to manual, so it won't try to adjust the uh, exposure as you're shining lights in the camera, because um, that would mess with your image. Um, so you can adjust gain and exposure time. General rule of thumb, you, you want the least gain possible and the most exposure time possible. So you can see when I crank the exposure time, um, the frame rate appears to drop, but it gives you much smoother trails. So I'll demo this. So you can see there's there's no breaks in the trail. I can move the light super fast, um, and it'll give me really clean, smooth trails. Um, so this this is only for Mac. Um, on Windows, you can use a program called OBS to control the webcam. Um, I'm sure there's others out there. Um, so the the last trick I want to show you guys. This is this is an ND filter, um, and basically it just makes everything much darker. Um, but that will allow you to crank the exposure time all the way up without um, making everything super bright. So I'm just going to hold this here and then demo it. So you get super clean trails with the ND filter. Um, without um, having to make everything dark in the room. Like, my room's not super dark right now. Um, I got lights on and it's it's daytime, so. Um, you can do light paintings in daytime, maybe stacking multiple ND filters. Um, you can find them on Amazon. Uh, I think I, I got this in a set for like 15 bucks or something. Um, and that's pretty much it. Uh, I hope you guys like the program. Um, let me know if you have any questions, and um, happy trails.